Many of the biggest and most epic trades ever completed in history were short trades. You have Michael Burry, whose face is overly used in every single finance YouTuber's thumbnail. He famously shorted the subprime mortgage bubble, which netted himself in the region of $100 million and was then featured in the film, The Big Short. Or you have George Soros, who nowadays is known as the boogeyman to conspiracy theorists, many of which would simply refer to him as Baba Yaga. Boogeyman. Soros initiated one of the most epic short trades of all time, which was done on the British pound and almost took down the Bank of England in the process. He walked away with a cool $1 billion from this one short trade. Knowing how to short trade unlocks a world of opportunities, but that does not mean it comes without its own set of risks. Let's dive right into it. As always, to show your support, please hit the like button as it goes a long way in supporting our team. Now, what is short trading exactly? In simplified terms, you expect the price of a stock to decline. So you are betting on that outcome and decide you want to short the stock. So what you do is you borrow the shares of the stock you want to short and sell them at the current market price. Then at a later date, when the stock price of the company you shorted falls, you buy back those shares at a lesser price than what you paid for them. And you would give those borrowed shares back to the institution you borrowed them from, satisfying your debt and netting the profit difference. Now, this may seem complicated, but it's just as easy to execute as a long trade because it is all handled by your brokerage and trading app on the back end. Now, as an example, let's say you want to short the company Donut Express, which is a company that delivers daily donuts to you. When looking at the markets, you notice a recent surge in health and fitness stocks, and you conceptualize that there is a larger societal pivot to healthy minded living. You believe that this will hurt Donut Express's sales due to people giving up donuts in favor of more health-centric foods. You also do an analysis of Donut Express's financials, and you notice their costs have been going up and sales have been trending downwards. You decide you want to short the company. You would first need a margin account through your brokerage as you are borrowing stocks from your broker, which means you are technically taking out a loan. Once you have that margin account, you would open up your trading app and find Donut Express, which is currently trading at $10 a share. You select the number of shares you want to short, and in this case, let's say that's 500 shares. You then click sell to place the short order that specifies it as a short sell. Once the order is executed, you will see the money from the sale of 500 shares deposited into your account. And in this case, it would be a $5,000 deposit because 500 shares at the price of $10 a share gives you $5,000. But now you owe the brokerage 500 shares of Donut Express, which isn't free. You will notice an interest fee automatically taken from your account until you return those 500 shares. So now, one month later, Oprah comes out and says her obsession with Donut Express has led to some serious health issues. Chaos ensues. The stock price collapses and drops from $10 a share all the way down to $2 a share. You would then buy 500 shares at the new $2 a share price, which costs you $1,000 for the transaction. Those 500 shares are now giving back to your brokerage and your debt is now cleared. You're a free man. You netted a $4,000 profit because you received $5,000 for the 500 shares you borrowed and sold, but now only had to pay $1,000 to buy back those 500 shares. You're now a champion and ready to go buy your Lamborghini and sail off into the sunset with a car full of babes. <laughs> now, jokes aside, what we explained was the picture-perfect scenario. Short trading does come with its own inherent set of risks. First, there are additional fees, things like margin interest, stock loan fees, transaction fees, and possible others based on your brokerage. Second, there's unlimited risk. Where long positions have a capped amount you can lose based on what you put in, short trades theoretically have unlimited risk because if price starts taking off upwards, it can keep going higher and higher. Going back to Donut Express, you borrowed and sold 500 shares at $10 a share and received $5,000 in cash. One month later, it is revealed that Warren Buffett has purchased 500 million shares of Donut Express. And he then comes out publicly and states that the keys to his longevity is because of his daily routine of having a box of glorious donuts from Donut Express delivered and consumed. This sends the stock price to $20 a share. You now need to buy back those 500 shares you owe the broker at the new $20 a share price, which will bring the total cost of the transaction to $10,000. 
This is $5,000 more than you initially paid, meaning you lost $5,000 from this short trade. Another thing to consider is if you over leverage and your position goes heavily against you, you may experience a margin call, which is when you don't have enough cash in your account to satisfy what is known as the maintenance margin. In the case of a margin call, your broker will request you to deposit additional funds to satisfy your maintenance margin, or they will manually close out your position. So to answer a quick question, why consider short trading? If the market is trending up, you lean towards taking long trades. If the market is trending down, you lean towards taking short trades. If you only trade long, that means you are sitting on the sidelines during downwards bearish markets, which then means you are limiting your trade opportunities. Trading in both directions presents unlimited trade opportunities. As always, the choice is up to you. And there are many techniques in order to cap the risk of trading both long and short. If you want to learn more about these techniques, make sure to head on over to our website. To show your support, please hit the like button as it goes a long way in supporting our team. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.